Hey guys, what's up? I the Tron here from Clash of Clans Manual. Uh, quick war we're in. Uh, one to show you guys one of the attacks because um, it's a good example of a new strategy I like. Uh, it's the Hog Rider Valk strategy. And before I show the attack, when you think Hog Rider Valk, um, you tend to think heal spells. That's the main spell you use for them. And um, the thing is, we talk about getting the most benefit out of your spells. And if you can get troops to get into the same spell, that's a huge bonus. So his in this attack, his Valks go in, his Hogs also go in. I think there's some spell overlap, so they both enjoy the same spell. If you can get most of your Valks and most of your Hogs meeting up in the middle somewhere for a heal spell, that's awesome. Um, having these different troops that both use the same spells allows you to kind of, it's almost like you're bringing an extra heal spell, and you're getting two for the price of one almost. So you'll see what I mean. Anyway, what you see here, um, free funnel, you know, nothing can shoot those minions, so I'll go ahead and drop them. Get that free, uh, free funnel, which is awesome. Uh, just let the minions do their work on those trash buildings. So you should always look for that opportunity. Uh, a few balloons, take out that defense, and then another few for that archer tower. Just going into the sea sealer, drops a few hogs in case there's balloons in the clan castle, which there are. Um, so it gets the balloons out, the wizards out, and almost, it might have been unintentional, but that minion up there is going to help lure out the wizards and the witch, leaving behind the balloons and the skeletons, and that's always a bonus, because if you can get the wizards and the witch exposed, uh, you can take them out first, he chooses not to, but you have the option of destroying them first, and then it's easy to take out the balloons and the little skeletons. Um, just drops a golem and a few valks, which is fine, a good way to kill the CC, with those powerful troops, uh, jump spell, remember, error on the side of your troops, um, they have to be able to get in it in order to use it, but once they get out of it, they still have the effect for a second, so, uh, make sure they get in it to begin with, and even if it only reaches that wall, they can still jump into that compartment where the queen is. Um, so his funnel's already made, just drops his troops, gets them going, uh, he'll use a heal here, and then a rage spell, so get the Valks healed and also moving quicker. And his hogs come in. You can see they're on a path to meet up in the core, which is awesome. You always want your troops to try to meet up at some spot because they get more of a spell benefit. Um, they even got the benefit of that rage to some extent. They pass through the rage spell a little bit. Um, double giant bomb there kind of hurt. So he, he had his hogs kind of petered out. Had to use a heal in a bit of a weird spot, but... There's a lot of giant bombs there, but the idea was good. Um, if you can get those hogs in with the rest of your troops meeting up in the middle, um, that's going to be amazing because those Valks will be tanking for the hogs. The hogs will be destroying defenses, helping out the Valks. And he didn't really do it that much here, I guess, but he could have used a... Had the base been designed a little differently, he could have used a good heal spell uh, on all his troops. The giant, All the giant bombs right there, kind of, it was smart that he didn't, but... Um, had all his, his hogs continued up towards the top of the base, um, he could have gotten that hero benefit for all of his troops. So just think about that during your attacks. I like the Valk Hog strategy. They're good troops to play off each other. And if you can have them meet up in the core, that's ideal. Hope you guys like this short video. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Stectatron out.